The following are examples of these principles. 1. Intention or objective or niyyah. The foundation of any action lies in having a clear intention or objective. Allah highlights this in the Quran, stating, meaning, say each works according to his manner or intention or objective. Al Quran Surah Al Isra, verse 84. Narrated by Omar ibn al Khattab, he said, I heard Allah's messengers وسلم, saying, The reward of deeds depends upon the intention, and every person will get the reward according to what he has intended. So whoever emigrated for worldly benefits or for a woman to marry, his emigration was for what he emigrated for. Narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. In Islam, Muslims need to establish a mission statement or set objectives for organization to provide direction, targets, and performance measures. These principles hold great significance within Islam, as the inherent intention behind any action determines its moral value. Islam consistently encourages individuals to undertake action with good intentions. 2. Knowledge Ilm. A manager must possess a comprehensive understanding of the business they are entrusted to oversee. Islam places significant emphasis on knowledge, as evident from the Quran's opening revelation with the command to read Iqra. Seeking knowledge is an obligatory duty for every Muslim. It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that the Messenger of Allah said, meaning, Seeking knowledge is a duty upon every Muslim, and he who imparts knowledge to those who do not deserve it is like one who puts a necklace of jewels, pearls, and gold around the necks of swine. Sunan Ibn Majah This knowledge encompasses not only the fundamentals of Islam and its code of life, but also extends to the practical aspects of everyday affairs. Therefore, it is incumbent upon management to acquire the necessary expertise in effectively running the business they are responsible for, while employees are expected to possess the required skills for their respective roles. 3. Change The world is in a constant state of flux. Life is inherently tied to change, and it has become the governing principle of existence. The business landscape of yesterday differs from today, and we can anticipate further transformations in the future. Quality management must possess the ability to adapt to these changes, including unforeseen circumstances. The Islamic concept of ijtihad embodies the spirit of change in dynamism. It encourages critical thinking, reflection, and the pursuit of solutions for newly emerging problems. This intrinsic aspect of Islamic principles allows for the flexibility and responsive and responsiveness needed to navigate needed to navigate the ever evolving landscape. Mu'az ibn Jabbar reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him during his departure to Yemen as a governor, "How will you judge when any issues arises?" He replied, "I shall judge according to the book of Allah." He asked, if you could not find it in the book of Allah, he replied, then according to the tradition of his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He asked, if you could not find it in his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam tradition, he replied, I shall do ijtihad with my reason and I shall not deviate. Then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam put his hand on his chest and said, Praise out to Allah who has enabled the messenger of his messenger for whatever his messenger is satisfied with. Tirmizi and Abu Dawud. In this context, the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ emphasize the importance of being proactive and flexible in managing both our worldly and spiritual affairs. 4. Strategic Planning Attaining quality and market leadership necessitates the implementation of a comprehensive long-term strategy. 
Significant improvements cannot be achieved overnight. The success of Japanese manufacturers, for example, was the result of decades of dedicated effort. Planning and organizing improvement activities are time-consuming endeavors that demand substantial commitment from all members of an organization. Strategies, plans, and budget allocation should align with long-term commitments to customers, employees, shareholders, and suppliers. In Quran, Allah states, meaning, Indeed, your Lord, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and earth in six days, and then established himself above the throne. He covers the night with a day, another night chasing it rapidly, and he created the sun, the moon, and the stars subjected by his command. Unquestionab unquestionably, he is, he is the creation and the command. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds. Al-Quran, Surah Al-Araf, verse 54. 5. Role Model A critical aspect of effective management is the presence of a role model. If a manager fails to fulfill their responsibilities or perform poorly, they cannot effectively motivate their subordinates to achieve high-quality performance. In Islam, action aligned with belief in is considered essential. The, the Quran admonishes those who merely speak without acting upon their words. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states meaning, O oh, those who believe, why do they say what you do not act upon? To Allah, it, it is a great sin that you say something that you do not practice. A Quran Surah 61 verse 2 to 3. The widespread acceptance of Islam across different continents, transcending racial, linguistic and cultural boundaries, owes much to the influence of those who embrace it as role models, rather than mere verbal preaching or holy words. These universal principles of Islam should be reflected in all aspects of life, including the art of managing a business or organization, where the presence of an exemplary role model is even more vital. 6. Motivation Inspiring individuals within an organization to achieve its goals or excel in their performance can yield remarkable results. Positive motivation encompassing factors such as effective management role models, fostering a team-oriented mindset, implementing a rewarding system, and establishing a connection between work and the broader mission of life, contributes to the satisfaction of attaining excellence through performance. Islam promotes motivation for virtuous action through a positive system of reward. Salam. Salam. Islam promotes motivation for virtuous action through a positive system of rewards. Abu Dhar narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, meaning, Your smiling in the face of your brother is charity. Commanding good and forbidding evil is charity. Your giving directions to a man lost in the land is charity for you. Your seeing for a man with bad sight is a charity for you. Your removal of a rock a thorn or a bone from the, road, from, from the road is charity for you. Your pouring what remains from your bucket into the bucket of your brother is a charity for you. From Termizi. Such teachings aim to motivate individuals to engage in good deeds regardless of their magnitude. In the realm of quality management, it is crucial to cultivate an atmosphere that embodies the Islamic spirit of positive motivation while also recognizing the need for negative motivation when dealing with marginal individuals. Seven, consultation. Given the significant role of shura or consultation in human affairs as revealed in Islamic teachings, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised Muslims to actively engage in mutual counsel regarding their matters. The practice of consultation yields three valuable outcomes. Firstly, it exists in making the right decisions by incorporating diverse perspectives. Secondly, it fosters a sense of belonging and involvement among individuals, promoting a collaborative and team-oriented approach. 
Thirdly, it cultivates a spirit of cooperation, motivating people to actively support the management. Despite being divinely guided, the Prophet of Islam wasallam, was still encouraged to engage in shura, emphasizing the importance of consultation. Allah states meaning, and consult them in affairs. Al-Quran Surah 3 verse 159 And who conduct their affairs by mutual consultation? Al-Quran Surah 42 verse 38 8 Justice Al-Adl Justice entails in ensuring <coughs> fair treatment to all individuals involved within a business or organization. The presence of justice serves as a motivation for people to perform their jobs better, while injustice has the opposite effect of demotivating them. When an individual experiences injustices in the workplace, their job satisfaction diminishes, leading to poor performance. Conversely, when a worker's quality performance is acknowledged and rewarded justly, they are inspired to strive for excellence day by day. This fosters a culture of high-quality performance throughout the entire business organization and reflects the essence of effective quality management. Justice stands as a fundamental requirement within the Islamic code of life. Allah says meaning, Allah commands adil, justice, and ihsan, benevolence, Al-Quran Surah 16 verse 90 O who believe, stand out firmly for Allah as a witness to fair dealing and let not hatred of others to you make you swerve to wrong and depart from justice. Be just, that is next to piety. Al-Quran Surah 5 verse 8 9. Continuous Improvement Continuous improvement is an essential aspect of managing systems and processes in all domains. In Islam, there is no ceiling on quality. Individuals are encouraged to consistently strive for improvement in the quality of their performance. In the Quran, Allah says meaning, O you who have believed, fear Allah and let every soul look to what it has put forth for tomorrow and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what you do. Al-Quran Surah Al-Hajj verse 18 You who believe, be steadfast, more steadfast than others. Be ready, always be mindful of God so that you may prosper. Surah Al-Imran verse 200 If at any point one becomes aware that they have done more harm than good, it is expected of them to take immediate corrective action and make amends. This practice aligns with the principle of continuous efforts for improvement, kind to the Japanese concept of Kaizen. 10. Competitive Benchmarking This practice entails identifying an organization that excel in certain areas, regardless of whether they operate in the same industry, and studying their methods to enhance their own operations. By learning from these exemplary organizations, Improvement can be made in your own business. As mentioned in the Quran, meaning, indeed, in the life of the prophets for you, there are the followable standards. Al-Quran Surah Al-Ahzab verse 21. 11. Employee Empowerment Granting employees the responsibilities and authority to initiate improvements fosters a powerful sense of motivation among workers. By entrusting in decision-making to those who are closest to the job and possess valuable insights into challenges and solutions, organizations can harness their full potential. When Allah created human beings, He bestowed them with the capacity to make choices and decisions within the boundaries of Islam. As mentioned in the Quran, meaning, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority of vice-students. Al-Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verse 30 12. The Welfare of Mankind or Customer In the Islamic system, quality management goes beyond simply achieving excellence in outcomes. It aims to create outcomes that are desirable and beneficial for the welfare of mankind and the customer. Allah's guidance emphasizes this, as Allah says meaning, 
creation of human life to try who is the best in the performance implies rewarding or otherwise for performance. Al-Quran Surah Al-Ma'un verse 4 to 5. 13. Trustworthiness or Amanah Individuals in positions of executive administration, leadership, or workers hold a significant responsibility as they are entrusted with the public's trust. People rely on them to deliver products or services of the promised quality. As a result, they are held accountable for fulfilling this duty. Al-Quran says, meaning, Allah does command you render back your trust to those to whom they are due. And when ye judge between men, and men that ye judge with justice, verily how excellent is the teaching which he giveth for you. For Allah is who heareth and sees all things. Al Quran Surah Al Nisa, verse 48. Trustworthiness is a core Islamic value that should be embodied in Islamic administration. Emphasizing this value in administration ensures that every member of the staff is trustworthy. The Quran commands Muslims to be trustworthy individuals, meaning, if any of you deposits a thing on trust with another, the trustee should faithfully discharge his trust and let him fear his Lord. Al Quran, Surah Al Baqarah, verse 283. The Prophet says that there is no faith or iman for an untrustworthy person. Anas ibn Malik reported, the Messenger of Allah said, meaning, there is no faith for one who cannot be trusted. There is no religion for one who cannot uphold a covenant. Musnad Ahmad, 